Today we're going to be talking about the Line 6 HX Stomp, a very powerful processor in a very small package. And a lot of guitarists who don't really want to use the amp modeling capabilities of it are using it as a part of their floor rig. And you're probably already familiar with the four cable method that's described in the manual. So you can run some of your effects in front of the amp, some of them through your effects loop. And of course, you can always run your pedal board directly into the input of the HX stomp. So you've got all your favorite effects there handy. But what if you wanted to put your pedal board somewhere internal in the HX stomp effects chain? And there are reasons you might want to do that. Luckily, within the HX stomp, there is the power to do that. You're going to have to be willing to sacrifice one processing block. You're going to have to get a couple extra cables and you're going to have to be willing to run your effects in mono, which most of us are doing live anyway. Let me show you how to hook it up. Okay, here's the cabling setup we need for this. First of all, we're running the guitar right into the left input and then from the left output, we're going into the front of the amp. Yeah, I know that's different than you expected, but bear with me. We'll get to everything. The first additional cable you're going to need is a stereo Y cable that gives you two mono outputs. We're going to plug the stereo end of the cable into the stereo send on the HX stomp. The left channel of the send is going to go to your pedal board or your favorite effects, which in my case is this ancient Ross distortion that I've been using since 1979. The output from the effects goes back to the left return on the stomp. The right channel of the send from the HX stomp is going to go to your amp's effects loop return. The cable from the effects loop send on your amp is going to go into the right return on the HX stomp. Okay, so that's the cabling we need. Let's get into HX Edit and put together the signal path that we need to make this work. Okay, we've got HX Edit fired up now, so let's create our chain here. Uh, first thing we're going to do, let's say that we want to put a modulation effect before our external effects from our pedal board. So we're going to insert that there. We're going to leave this open for right now and we're going to come down here and insert our time-based effects. And I'm going to select a modulated chorus echo and a double tank reverb. Turn the modulation off on that because we're going to get a little bit from here. Turn this mix level down just a hair here. Okay, we're going to take advantage of the fact that the effects send and return in the HX stomp is stereo, but we can convert it to mono and use both sides independently. Now, here is exactly how we're going to do that. We are going to drag our time-based effects down here to path B. We're going to create a different output. We're going to use the send left-right as an output and our time-based effects going into the effects loop of the amp are all going to be on the right side of this chain. Now, next thing we need to do is up here at this split point, it defaults to a split Y, but we don't want the signal coming from our guitar feeding into this. We want this only coming from our effects loop of our amp. So we're going to change this to a split AB and route everything to the A side. So that means we have to create a new input, which we don't have. Yes, we do. What we're going to do here is create a send return and we are going to use the right return as the input from our effect send on the amp. Okay, so now we've got it coming from the effects loop on the amp into here, staying on the right side of the path over here to the output, also right side all the way. Now, what we're going to do up here is on the main left right, we're going to pan everything up here to the left. 
we are going to now insert the left side of the effects loop right here. So that means that anything coming from our pedal board, and in my case it's going to be the Ross distortion pedal that I have here, is going to be inserted into the chain in this point. It could be as many effects from my pedal board as I wanted to put. The great thing about doing it this way, we still have an open block to add another effect either before or after our pedal board. So we've created our chain here. We're using the left side on the HX stomp to feed the front of the amp straight through on path A. We're using the right side of the effects loop as our insert from our effects loop of our amp. Okay, that's our HX stomp setup. Let's give it a try and see if it worked. First of all, here is just everything bypassed. We're going clean into the amp. Okay, successful there. I'm going to engage uh, the phaser that is internal in this HX stomp. All working good there. Now, I'm going to engage the delay and reverb that we've got coming through the effects send on the amplifier. Okay, everything working good so far. Last thing now, let's engage my favorite distortion pedal that I put into the effects chain in the stomp. Hopefully, this is something that's going to help you guys out out there who want to use the HX stomp in an effects situation still using your amp sounds and your effects loop and your own pedal board all at the same time. If you're ready to join into the Helix family, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call. Get into the Helix family and we'll be sharing more tips with you as we go along. So y'all have a good day and see you next time.